just sitting there not know what to do after blocking i got so many advice you cannot get very far without the fundamentals and without having good drawing for me this just did not work out i read this and i was like why i didn't think about this before suddenly you make a mistake it will just pop out Hello, welcome to my channel, this is Adrienne and in today's video I will talk about my three favorite advice that I got for oil painting. So if you are new to oil painting, I'm pretty sure that you already heard about the fundamentals and how to get your colors right or your values or the composition or to have a better drawing skill. To be honest, I agree with all of these. It's, it's very important. You cannot get very far without the fundamentals and without having good drawing. By the way, if you are still learning how to draw, but you still want to proceed with your paintings, I will make some videos that will help you out with this. But let's get to the point. So along the way of learning how to paint, I got so many advice, so I collected three of my favorite ones and the best part is that the first one will actually get you starting, which is super important in the beginning. So advice number one. Did it ever happen with you that you were done with your drawing, your underpainting and then you were just sitting there not know what to do after blocking? To be honest, in the beginning I always felt this way and I just started to jump into the painting, jumping from one place to another developing different areas and starting to build up the whole painting at once and to be honest for me this just did not work out and once I learned this technique from Richard Schmidt his book Alla Prima where he writes down how he starts to develop a painting he starts with one spot which he will develop perfectly as accurate as possible the accurate colors the accurate values and only when this is perfectly fine he moves to the next spot. I read this and I was like, why I didn't think about this before? So once I started to paint with this method, I realized that it's even more difficult to make mistakes. If you have a perfect area and then suddenly you make a mistake, it will just pop out. So instead of just jumping from place to place, try to start at a spot, develop it perfectly and then move to the next one. Tip number two, is to have focal points. It's really important. And what is more important is that you choose them. You must choose the center of interest. You can have more or you can have one powerful center of interest. It doesn't matter, but you have to choose it. And how to develop a focal point? Well, you need at least three things. Put the hardest edges there, the brightest highlight, and the most contrasting values. Tip number three, is that subject matter matters. Especially in the beginning, it's really difficult to find something that you believe that you are able to paint. My advice, if possible, find something that you actually care for. When I started out oil painting, I was just thinking it doesn't matter what I paint until the colors and values are right and the painting looks good, it's okay. And it's okay, you can do that. But recently I realized that when I paint something that I am interested in and I care for, my painting is just better. Try to find something that works for you, a subject that you are actually interested in, and I am pretty sure that your painting will become better. So that was it for today's video and I am very happy that you joined me. Again, this is just my opinion, this is what worked for me and I would be super happy to hear also what worked for you. If you have a favorite advice, just leave it in the comment section and see you in the next video. Bye!